You're watching News24 Live. Springbok coach Heineke Mayer has made three changes to the Springbok starting 15 for the Pool B clash against Scotland in Newcastle this weekend, as well as a captaincy change. Number nine, Fareed Dupree will lead the box out in Newcastle. Our chief rugby writer from Sport24, Rob Howing, is on the ground in Newcastle. He went to the team announcement last night. He joins us over Skype this morning for a chat. Rob, good morning. So what did you make of the changes and, of course, Farid Apriya leading the box? In short, Nick, um, I think it's the best spring box side of the year. Um, it's one that a lot of uh, um, punters back home would, would, I think, be thoroughly endorsing. When you consider that there are, there are people who have felt for a while that with the greatest of respect to Jean de Villiers, um, who, as we know, was you know beginning to just sort of uh, uh, come right again mm. before his latest unfortunate mishap, uh, many people who had been wanting to see the, the dalende creel midfield combination yeah. fielded as a, as a starting entity for the box. And then in the second row, for instance, um, a lot of people have been saying, you know, never mind the credentials of, of the great sort of legendary Victor Matfield. Um, there are people who believe that the box are best served by Ibn Etzebeth and Lord Diaga being mm. the second row combination. And there they are back um, uh, put together as a very exciting young combination to play the Scots. And you throw in the fact that, you know, Farida Priya is back, Dwayne Vermeulen is back. They have both got uh, pretty much full games under their belts last weekend. And you start thinking, um, you know, the box are beginning to rumble here. You, the box are beginning to assemble a really potent uh, side, at least at least on paper. Mm. Rob, now would a, a fit Victor Matfield then uh, assume the captaincy going forward? I mean, if the box really hit their straps under Farida Priya and this, you know, the, the, the dynamics and the chemistry just seems to seems to click do you think he might stay for the duration of the world cup as captain yes i think so i don't think there's any special pressure considering that we're sort of talking acting uh, captaincy anyway um i don't think hanika may is under spe any special pressure to sort of uh, mm. make his man the captain for the rest of the of the the tournaments um you know he can basically sort of uh, gauge the mood um gauge from one match to another mm. now uh, how things are going um on that front um, I, I, I do think that perhaps Victor Matfield, had he been fit for, for the Scotland game, uh, might well have been the preferred captain. Um, uh, there was no specific mention of that fact at the press conference mm. because, of course, uh, all, all they really want to do, and rightly so, was to, to sort of start hyping up, um, uh, you know, putting out some good PR on behalf of their new captain, if you like, uh, Farid Priya, giving him every sort of confidence. Mm. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if things go well, um, uh, yes, there will be a chance, especially as Victor Matfield's got a hammy. And of course, you know, uh, for a 38-year-old getting a, a hamstring, you don't mm. just recover overnight. Um, so the, the thought might just be that uh, that Matfield might also be struggling for the quick turnaround last pool game against the United States on Wednesday, which, mm. uh, you know, then suggests perhaps uh, Farida Priya will be in the mix again. Although let's also remember that Farida Priya is also sort of nursing his way back um, quite gingerly from a long, yeah. long absence. Um, so uh, it's going to be interesting to just see what the box do about that sort of the four-day turnaround to the United States game, which players they believe um, could do duty both this Saturday and on Wednesday um, against the U.S. Uh, of course, you know, a couple of other games in, in the pool um, happening this, this weekend, so mm -hmm. it's, it's still a case of sort of the box waiting to see what might be required in that last pool game. But right now, all they're doing is focusing on on the, the, the big business, which is winning this top of the table clash, uh, you mm. know, number one, number one in the pool, Scotland against number two in the pool, the box. Yeah. And Rob, what about the front row? A lot of people feeling that perhaps France Mulherbe a bit unlucky not to have got a start this weekend. Yes, uh, uh, there's there's justification for that. I mean, uh, uh, France Mulherbe, when he came on, it did appear as if the, the scrum just seemed to stabilize a bit. Um, but uh, I suppose um, Heine Kamea's thoughts were, um, you know, we, we're getting together as settled a combination as possible, and he's he's gone for his his tried and trusted old former Sharks front row, if you like, um, and uh, you know, including of course the return of Bismarck Duplessis. Um, so Adrian Strauss a little bit unlucky um, to go to the bench after I thought a, a very credible showing against Scotland. But uh, you know, he does uh, fairly consistently rotate his mm. his two sort of prize hookers, if you like. So um, uh, Bismarck coming in uh, 
you know, bringing out the, the big battleship for this game was no major surprise to me. And it'll also perhaps sort of almost galvanize his brother Yanni into, into sort of a better performance. Remember that Yanni Duplessis was playing pretty well in the test season ahead of the World Cup. Mm. Um, he's made a pretty dodgy start and he's got a little bit of, had a little bit of a knee problem, uh, which apparently, you know, uh, is, is going to be okay. One assumes it is because Malherbe would have been a very um, a decent uh, a prospect to put in a tight head if there'd been any doubt about Yanni Duplessis' fitness. Um, so I guess they'll be trying to get, uh, you know, sort of 55 or 60 minutes out of Yanni Duplessis as usual and hope that back in alliance with, with his brother and the old guard with Beast on the uh, loose head side of the scrum, uh, that they will um, have, the, uh, have the beating of the, of the Scots front row. Mm.